Welcome to WNBA Basketball on 2K Sports. And tonight, we'll see the New York Liberty as they go up against the Seattle Storm. I'm Blake Suniga, and with me at the broadcast table, our table are Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi. They set the pick. This could be a terrific game. We've got two of the most up-tempo teams in the league. Uh, these are my favorite types of games. They're very similar in terms of style, and it's not just about uh, running the floor. It's about defensive intensity, too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so often, these battles between fast-paced teams boil down to who plays better transition defense. Now, here is Ionescu. Offensive rebound. Two points. That one goes in. Entering the league as the second tallest player in WNBA history, nobody should be surprised at Sue collecting offensive rebounds. Here's Boston. Pass to Gray. Boston sets a screen. Shoots from 12. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed assist. Give an assist there, uh, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed her up and really just made that layup possible. Now here's Howard. That three off target had some space there after the little pump bait. First quarter and about a minute and a half in. Here's the pick. Here's Benson. Buries it from three point range. And the offense, three of four. A solid start to the game, if I say so myself. Outside Howard. And a foul on Gray. Alicia. That is her first foul of the game. First team foul. Side Whitcomb. Down low. Six to shoot. That's a tough pass to make when the defense is so enforced in the low post. They're off and running. They've knocked down four of their first five. Here's New York now. Seven point differential. And more than just a role player, Ariel Powers has turned herself into a force in this league. Helping Washington win a championship back in 2019, it was really her first breakout season where she put it all together. And she hasn't looked back since. It's good from long range. Such a quick release on Ionescu's shot, and her accuracy from deep is great as well. Austin outside. Powers. To Boston. Come on, kick it out, kick it out. Gray outside. Six on the shot clock. And she was all alone on that one. They've been hot here early, dropping them in left and right. And we'll see how long they can keep it going. Yanescu outside. And again, it's New York with a three. Gotta love Yanescu's intensity, delivering an emphatic answer. Boston outside. Gray. Boston sets a screen. Inside. Nisimon with the steal. Here's Howard. Finished off the break. Yeah, I think Howard was the right option there on the fast break because she is a gifted scorer who is no stranger to strong finishes. Here's Benson. And here is Gray. Outside powers. They get it again. Just five to shoot. Here's Gray. The three pointer off the mark. New York trailing here. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have, staying aggressive and playing in control. Pass to Han. Back to Inescu. That's in. Coming off an assist from Han Zhu. Putting her incredible height to good use. Zhu looks over the defense and distributes accordingly. Boston outside. 
and the shot goes in. Check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates on the same page. Here's New York now, trailing by two. Ionescu outside. Banked in off the glass. Offensively, a perfect quarter. She hasn't missed a single shot. On the wing, Alicia Gray. Pass to Benson. And here's Mengiadu. Austin outside. Shot clock at six. Outside Powers. Hits it from three-point range. With the level of shooter that Powers is, letting her catch and fire, it's not a recipe for success for the defense. Whitcomb with it. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Back to Ionescu. Oh, yes, she did. Five up, five down for her so far. Four of their last five makes came off a high-quality shot inside. And that's right out of the textbook. They are having their way down low right now. Here's Benson. Back to Gray. From past the arc, knocks down the three ball. Oh, we've seen Gray make huge strides shooting wide, becoming more than solid from beyond the arc. Ionescu outside. Pass to Han. This one for three. Good, and Sabrina Ionescu gets the dime. Oh, some quick uh, retaliation right there, huh, guys? Yeah, sure didn't take them long to go and get those three points back. Here's Benson, covered by Ionescu. Here's Benson. That one rolling around and rims out. And so it's New York with it. They trail by one. Ionescu outside. And again, it's the Liberty from deep. She's really got the touch right now. Six for six from the field. Time out, I mean, look, time she's out. having one of those games. She's feeling it. Start. Time called here. The Storm decide to talk it over. Entire new group here. Here's Harrison. Pass to Holmes. Harrison. Five to shoot. Ray. He's guarded by Alamon. Yep, that one goes. Now here's Alamon. Now Allen. Pass to Juhas. Clock at six. Howard, three-pointer, and again, New York with a three. Well, Howard is a skilled three-point shooter who has worked very hard to develop her consistency. Now Talbot. And it's Alamon with the foul. That is her first foul of the game. First foul, team's first. First team foul. Defense, New York. Three-point lead. Gray with the bucket. When you're 6'3", like Harrison, you get a nice view of the court. It allows you to see open teammates. And so it's New York with it. Out 
inside Howard. The three. Here's you, Haas. The layup off target. Seattle with the ball. To the paint. Harrison gets the bucket. Can't get much easier than that for Miller. She kept her head on a swivel and didn't overthink it. And here is Howard. He's got five. Fires from deep. Hands it from downtown. 12 straight points off of three pointers, and the D looks shell shocked. And now that they're rolling from out there, you've got to get it in their jersey and try to deny those looks. Especially how well people shoot threes these days. Now here's Miller. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Pass to Holmes. Five on the clock. Gray outside. Three pointer. And our ball with the rebound. New York in the lead. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. To the inside. Left side, Howard. Here's Endor Fall. And that concludes a back and forth high scoring first quarter of play. It's the Liberty. Up one. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. entering the second quarter and taking a look at the Liberty performance here guys what are your thoughts I think the roof is up but get some people some umbrellas it has been raining in here a lot of threes yeah you know I'm a huge umbrella guy but hey when it rains it pours and they haven't let up from beyond the arc and so it's New York with it that's to Allen Ionescu. Now Juhas. Clock at four. There's the three. It's rebounded by McDonald. Seattle trailing here. Pass to Talbot. McDonald. To the middle. Parked down low that time and got hit with the three-second call. Here's Ionescu. Allen. Aleman with it. Juhas, defended by Harrison. Aleman with it. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And she That's makes that one. Ball. She was one assist. step ahead of the D in making that Two pass. Minutes. Nice assist. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute of play. Outside Miller. Pass to Talbot. Shoots the three. Drops in the tray. And that'll tie this game up. Textbook. Nice pass. Nice catch. Nice shot. And here's Juhas. Now Alemán, guarded by McDonald. Now here's Alemán. Tight defense on her. And she banks in the layup. Here's McDonald. Outside Miller. Austin sets a screen. Back to McDonald. First person to foul, the team's first. First team foul. Huh. 
We're now around two minutes into this second quarter. Left side, McDonald. Down to five on the shot clock. Harrison. And there's two points. Work on the glass, paying off that time. Protecting the play, Harrison fights to retain possession and get him a bucket. Three-pointer, Sabrina Ionescu. Lucky seven drops right in. She's perfect from the floor. Seven for seven. I love it. Keep shooting. As the threes keep dropping for her, she'll keep shooting. Keep shooting. As she should. Look, when you're having the kind of day she's having for long range, why not just keep firing her? There's a screen to the inside. Juhas. Allen and again it's the Liberty from deep I'm not sure that was the play they had set up but it was too good a look to pass up pass to Boston now Talbot Boston outside McDonald chalk up two right there playing way above her listed height McDonald not afraid down low on offense here the Liberty yeah, four-point game. Back to Inescu. Alema, guarded by McDonald. Now here's Alema, guarded closely. Juhas can't get it to go. Well, a sports family for Isabel Harrison. Her father, a pro football player, and a lot of her siblings play at a high level, too. One of 12 kids and 10 of them in college athletics. I mean, you just don't see that all the time. But I love it because her big family has been a great support system through some adversity she's faced over the years. Now here's Alamon. They get a hand on it. Pass to you, Haas. Here's Allen. Off the mark there with the three. And it's the storm with the ball. Outside, McDonald. Right side, Miller. Shot on the wing, buries the jump shot. Remarkable ball control for Miller, showing how confident she is in creating for herself. New York calls timeout. New York leading. Now here's Whitcomb. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Back to Inescu. It's good for her eighth straight basket and only eight attempts. When they've got to her, she's come through. Keep getting her touches. Pass to Mengiadu. Boston. outside. Here's Powers. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And already just a little bit into the season, the elite teams are starting to separate themselves. Yeah, and for the teams in the opposite position, this is a critical time as well. You don't want to dig too big of a hole. Absolutely. With the level of competition in the WNBA, it's not easy to get back into playoff position once it hits the midway point of the season. And she makes the first. You love the hustle Ariel Powers brings to her game. She has a willingness to outwork her opponents, and that's something any coach loves. And so she makes both from the line. Now Ionescu. 20 points for her. Howard. Back to Inescu. Pass to Misaman. 
And she drops in the layup. Off glass. Got to appreciate how Ionescu reads the defense. Terrific job of finding the open teammate there. On the wing, Alicia Gray. Benson. Boston. Misama uncovering. Whitcomb. Quiet so far offensively, searching for first points of the game. Ionescu. Off target from outside. Obviously, they're evenly matched teams on the interior. The rebound numbers are very even. Yeah, impressive effort from both teams on the glass. Here's Benson. Pass to Mengiadu. Gray. Whitcomb defending. Let's the three fly. Alicia Gray, and that's good. Tonight's game from Gray, it is coming as no surprise to us. I mean, Alicia is a bucket and can go off anytime she steps on the court. Now here's Han. She has five. Power. And she gets the bucket. Those defenders look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're just getting pushed around on the low block. Maybe coach has got to make a substitution or something to energize this team. Well, they better rally soon. They've given up three straight buckets in the paint. The first overall pick in the 2022 WNBA draft, Ryan Howard really excels at a multitude of things. Now a timeout, timeout, timeout called by Seattle. Looks like the coach saw some things out there that need adjusting, and it's going to take a little time to talk it over. Yeah, and never a bad idea to use a timeout if there's something that's got you concerned. <laughs> Powers inside. Well, a player that's effective from three-point land, Powers is at home in the paint, pouring that bucket closer in. Outside Whitcomb, Ionescu. Nisam on for three. Her shot is good, making her a perfect two for two from the floor. That's too much space to give a shooter like her. She works hard to get that space, but the defenders have to work harder. Here's Gray. It's in. Basket number six for her thus far. She has missed only two shots from the floor. With the wide array of offensive moves, Gray will pretty much make you pick your poison when you're guarding her. That is a huge performance for her. She drained three three-pointers in the first quarter, and she's got two more here in the second. Pass to Harrison. To the paint. Here's Benson. It's good for her second make. Two for three so far. She made that pass to a spot and let her teammate run right into it. That is how you distribute the basketball. Now here's Whitcomb. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Here's on. No good from outside. Just like me, nine times out of ten, she's going to bury the three when she's left all alone. They're beginning to just fall apart defensively, especially on the interior. Yeah, they're crumbling like a cookie right now, and that's four straight field goals they've allowed from within touching distance of the rim. Now, here's Miesman. She has five. And the foul on Gray. That'll be her second foul of the game. And the Liberty call time here. Time at Liberty. Number 35, Julie Alamon. Give the hand fans your Breakers dance crew. Huh. Hey, 
Wieseman. Pass to Howard. Just five on the clock. It's over Powers. Howard gets the bucket. Wow. I mean, did she ever sell that pump fake well? Worked to absolute perfection. Here's Benzin. She's guarded by Alamon. On the wing, Alicia Gray. They set the pick. From six away. And the storm tack on two more. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. It doesn't matter how good their perimeter defense is if they keep allowing easy looks inside. Now here's Alamon. Outside Howard. Up top, Alamon. From deep. And it's Seattle with the rebound. I mean, it would have been something to see her hit from all the way back there. There aren't many players that can hit from out there, but she's definitely one of them. Harrison sets the screen. Here's Gray. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. This should be the last possession of the quarter. If their clock management is good, it will be. Howard with the ball. It's over Powers. Second chance shot. He knocks it down. But wait a minute. The officials are getting together, and they may want to review this one. The previous play is under review. They're going to bring out the monitor and see if she got it off in time. You know, there's a lot of basketball still left to play. Some might say, uh, can we skip the replay review this time around? But, you know, honestly, you never know how this review might impact the outcome. Yeah. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. With the replay review center, Sakak is queuing up the footage for the officials. Yeah, the key is just get it right.